Hello everybody, welcome back. In today's reading, again, we're going to read out of a book. The author, the name of the author is Paul David Tripp. The title is New Morning Mercies. And we're going to be reading a daily gospel devotional. And each day that there's a different devotional. And I will always try my best to do a daily devotional uh, if any other content is out there, I um, can't promise there, but I'm going to try my best to always give daily content uh, where I think it's a good good for my soul and good for others. So follow along, or well, you can't follow along with me, but have a good listen, and I will do my best to read it um, in the best comprehensive way that I can. So here we go, May 26th. Faith is living in light of what God has said, resting in what he has done, and entrusting the future to his care. In an incredible story, a clear case study in what faith is and does, by faith Abraham, when he was rested, offered up Isaac, and uh, he who had received the promises was in uh, in the act of offering up his only son, of whom it was, who, of whom it was said, through Isaac, shall your offering be named. He considered that God was able even to raise him from the dead, from which, figuratively speaking, he did receive him back. Hebrews 11:17 through 19. God has promised Abraham that his descendants would be like the stars in the sky, and through his descendants all the nations of the earth would be blessed. But Abraham and his wife Sarah didn't have any children, let alone a clue about how he would pass down the promise to the next generation. They waited and waited, De decade piled up on decade. But no son came. Abraham was an old man, and Sarah was decades beyond her childhood bearing years. Then, in a miracle of God's faithfulness, a son, Isaac, was born. There must have been some kind of celebration that day. God was, a tr God was true to his promises. He did the power to deliver. He would keep his covenant. Blessing would come to this sin-broken world. It seemed like the, like the end of a beautiful story. Then God came to Abraham and told him to sacrifice the promised son. It made no sense whatsoever. All God's promises of faithfulness and all the hopes of uh, and all the hopes of the covenant rested on this little boy. If Abraham killed him, it would all be over. If Isaac died, nothing that had happened for decades would make any sense. You can imagine uh, you can imagine Abraham saying, God, ask anything of me, but not this. Please, not this. You promised me a son. I waited in faith, and now you want me to kill him. God, I just don't understand. We don't know all the emotions that were inside Abraham, but there is a little hint of angst and anger in his reactions. Abraham immediately began to spare, began to prepare to do what God had called him to do. We know that the grace had visited um, and transformed the heart of this of this man or he would not have been able to react as he did. It's clear that Abraham did not know why God was asking him to do what he had asked, and it is clear that he did not know what God was going to do. Abraham reasoned that maybe God would re uh, resurrect Isaac uh, after the sacrifice, but that was not what God was intending. This is where this passage exposes what faith is about. Abraham wasn't relying on what he could see or understand. No, he was at 
rest because he acted on the firm platform of God's commands, as well as his presence, promise, uh, as well as his presence, promises, faithfulness, and power. Faith believes that God really does exist and that he re rewards those who seek him. But faith isn't natural for us. It is, our, it is ours only as a gift. If God's grace, seek the grace again today. For further study and encouragement, Genesis 22. I think this was a great uh, passage today. The only thing that comes to mind, my mind, is a few things. Um, I have uh, Christians having the faith to do what is hard to do in life because we know that God has our back. Um, and that can be very difficult in time. at times. If we obey God and do what we believe that God is asking us to do, then we're acting in faith. And I think that's an amazing thought. Uh, I'm going to twist this a little bit, and I'll say any of those people who don't believe in God, what is the intuition of your heart? When you think you, when you are suddenly stopped by asking, why am I doing this? Is it going to give me any pleasure? Um, that in itself is a third, uh, an emotion in your mind that says, this is wrong, I shouldn't do it, so I'm going to stop. Um, I can't quite put my finger on exactly what I'm talking about. But even the non-believers have this intuition about what is right and what is wrong. So um, with that said, I definitely thank you for being along with this very short and subtle uh, reading. Um, again, my videos will not be edited except for uh, music in the background. Uh, may God, may you be blessed in life and or rested in life in whichever direction you follow. Have a good day, everyone. Bye-bye.